Morida, good morning. Great, finally the silence. Croesog, am I bottom up? Welcome here this, this morning uh, to our first in a series of um, consultation events, focusing on the review of and the proposed changes to part L of the building regulations which are obviously aimed at reducing carbon emissions from the built environment. Now, judging by the attendance here today, I guess it's a pretty important topic for quite a few people across Wales. A whole host of reasons why, and I'm not going to go into them at the moment. Uh, by way of introduction, um, my name is Ed Evans. There we are. Uh, and I work for Constructing Excellence in Wales. Now, in case you're wondering why Constructing Excellence in Wales is hosting this event this morning, and also two others, Carmarthen tomorrow and next week in Llandidno, uh, it's quite simple. CE Wales is the host for the Wales Low Zero Carbon Hub. The hub has a key role to play in delivering the climate change strategy for Wales, but with a particular focus on the built environment. Now, the strategic aims of the hub are to reduce carbon emissions from our existing building stock by 3% per annum, no mean feat, but also to aspire towards zero carbon buildings for the future. And you don't need me to tell you the importance of building regulations, and in particular Part L, in, in meeting those targets. Now in a moment I'm going to hand you over to uh, Francois Samuel of the Welsh Government. Francois has got the unenviable task, or perhaps I should say the, the challenging task, of steering this process through the National Assembly's legislative system, so that the regulations become established and embedded in the way we deliver building projects in the future. Francois today will be supported uh, by David Ross, Tom Lelybeld, Sam Archer and Colin Blick, and they'll be introducing a number of sessions through the day. Uh, and as you can see from the agenda, these will cover the main elements of the regulations and each session will be followed by a question and answer session, uh, which I hope will allow all of you to take part in the debate and to offer your views on these proposals. And I'd urge you to take full advantage of that opportunity to shape these proposals. I need to say that running in parallel with these sessions, uh, ACOM consultants will also be running uh, a session on a piece of software known as CSBEM, and this will take place in the Argyle suite from 11.45. I believe a number of you will have already registered for that. Some of you may think about it and think, yes, I'd like to do that. It's the Argyle suite on the second floor, and Sue at the back will, uh, will take you up there once we've, uh, we've prompted you. There'll be a subsequent session during the lunch break, which again some of you will have, uh, will have registered for, on CSAP Wales, which is another piece of software, um, which will take place in the Balmoral Suite next door. Uh, and that'll take place in, during the lunch period. Again, it's for those who have registered, but some of you may decide as we go through the day that you wish to attend. Uh, at about 4 p.m., uh, we'll briefly sum up, or rather Francois will briefly sum up on the outcomes of the day and then explain the next steps, how we take this forward. Before I do hand over to Francois, just some domestics. Um, refreshments, hopefully you're all now uh, watered, uh, fed. Um, we're going to break for lunch about 1pm uh, and then we'll have an afternoon break at 3pm. Uh, toilets out through that door there and through to the left. And if there's a fire alarm, when nothing is planned, it's the real thing, you need to head out again to those double doors and out into the frontage and you'll be guided to the mustard point. Uh, that's it from me really. Um, above all, I hope that you find today certainly informative, stimulating, maybe even enjoyable. Thank you. Over to Francois.